Hey guys, this is Tech Cosac Repair. Today we're going to be doing quick valve adjustment on this Kawasaki. This is a V-twin engine, 25 horsepower. It's on a um, Great Dane, but this engine is on a lot of different machines. To be able to uh, rotate the crankshaft. So for that, I've taken off the spark plugs already. I'm going to take off this top um, guard right here. This four 10 millimeters. All right, and then there's a plate underneath it just to keep debris out of there and leaves. That's also got three 10 millimeters. All right, so we got that out of the way. The valve cover, it's uh, 10 millimeters down here also. There's two of them, they're long. Make sure you have gaskets on hand. I have a set of gaskets and uh, good thing because these did tear a little bit. All right, you can see the center part right there is still stuck on here. All right, so I'll have to get that off. But uh, this is what this looks like here, just long 10 millimeters on there. This mower has 1500 hours on it and these valves have never been adjusted. so. I'm curious to see what they're going to look like. So now to get this thing at top dead center, it's pretty easy. You're going to take a 11 uh, sixteenths. You're going to turn it clockwise. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to watch the valves. All right, so you see the valves right there. We're going to watch the valves and watch them open and then close. You're going to have, uh, by turning it clockwise here, we're going to have our exhaust open first, which is the lower one. All right, there's our exhaust one opening up there. And then we're going to get down to our intake. Now, when the intake comes around, it comes back up again. At that point, we're going to start looking for top dead center. So you're going to keep rotating it. You're going to take, uh, I have a three millimeter Allen key I'm going to stick in there because we're going to need that to adjust anyway. Stick it down into the spark plug hole and wait for that piston to come back up again. All right, so right now, let me get it so you can see it. All right, watch that right there. It's going to come up. Boom, right, right there, that right top dead center. Now we're going to look at these valves here. All right, and they're pretty loose. Let me get you in closer. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna adjust them to uh, 0 0.006 inches. All right, I'm using a feeler gauge, a thin one like this here. We're gonna stick it down in there and see where we're at. Okay, this one's tight. And this one is loose. All right, so what we're gonna do to, to uh, adjust these is you gotta crack the nut on the outside here. This is the lock nut, this is the 14 millimeter. You're going to crack that. I'm going to go ahead and break them both here. All right, when we get those loose, we're going to take our three millimeter. So we're going to loosen the lock nut, which is the three millimeter in the inside. And then we're going to go ahead and turn this 14 millimeter until we get the valves tight. All right, so I'm just turning this 14 millimeter by hand to get it where it's tight right there. Okay. And when we get it where we like it, can just barely hold that. We got to hold the 14 millimeter. Don't let it turn. And then we're going to tighten the center lock nut. Okay, that three millimeter Allen key lock. We're going to tighten that. Whenever you're done, always go back and check the valve again. All right, so we're going to get back in there and check it. Okay, and it's too tight. So let's try to loosen that up. Fear gauge in there again. All right, we're good right there. Okay, so the inside three millimeter is your lock nut, and the outside 14 is your adjuster. So let's do it on the bottom one. Sometimes it's good to make it just a little bit on the loose side because then when you tighten it, it, it uh, tends to get a little tighter.
holding the 14 and then tightening the three millimeter Allen. All right, a little loose. And you want this exhaust one to be right because this is your uh, decompression also, okay? So if that one is too uh, loose, you, you'll have a hard time cranking the engine. And there we are good on this side. So now we have both of them set to 0 .006. At this point, you just button it back together, do the other side, put the spark plugs back in, and you're good to go. You should be doing this at least every season if you're using this on a regular basis. Um, if these get too um, loose, right, especially if the exhaust one gets too loose, your um, decompression, your decompression won't work, and you'll have an engine that kind of cranks and stops and cranks and stops, or the, it sounds like your starter's not working because it'll click. So guys, that's all there is to it. It's a real simple. This is just a, a simple valve adjustment video that you guys should be doing. This is part of maintenance. Don't ignore this. And I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe, share. Until next time, guys, this is Tepco Cycle Repair.